Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another episode of my Pokemon TCG openings. And today, I'm really excited because I decided to step out of my comfort zone and away from what I normally do. Uh, I almost exclusively buy retail stuff. I just, I hunt in the stores, I buy retail stuff. I buy a little bit online, but I don't like buying resold stuff. Obviously, it's more expensive, but... I decided to treat myself a little bit, and I wanted to find a good mystery box. There's a ton of mystery boxes uh, all over eBay and uh, Etsy and all kinds of places, and uh, a lot of them are super sketch. You know, and they'll it'll be like a hundred dollar mystery box, and you know they claim that it has you know at least a hundred dollars worth of stuff in it, with a chance of getting all this crazy stuff, and then you get you know. $25 of garbage and it's just like what um, so I did quite a bit of looking around on eBay to try to find a reputable seller someone with a lot of history of selling uh, mystery packs and uh, that was well reviewed so on and so on and I think I found something so we're gonna go through it together all I've done is I opened the package but I haven't looked inside or pulled anything out yet or any of that stuff um, so let's just we'll just get into it um, there is, this is listed as a bonus, so I'm going to set that aside, that'll be at the end, and then there's this, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool, the packaging, uh, I'll go over it really quick, so there's 18 out of 24 of the boxes, and then there's 6 out of 24 of the boxes, so I guess... He makes 24 boxes at a time. 18 of them are one particular box. The other six are another one. So if you get to 18 out of 24, uh, it contains at least 12 factory sealed booster packs, a vintage um, wizard promo card, a random vintage uh, card, just a random vintage card, uh, VMAX, a random... Uh, v Max card or V E X or G X card, random hollow, custom eight card repack, and much more. Could include sleeves, additional singles, etc. And then the the better of them, where it's only the six out of twenty four, comes with a PSA graded card, so that's super cool. With five factory sealed booster packs, another vintage promo card, vintage regular card, the blah, 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 all the other stuff that the other one had. So the 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 better box has less sealed booster packs but a PSA graded card I don't actually have any graded cards yet in my collection because I was waiting to get a certain amount of them to send them out and then of course PSA is closed right now for submissions as they get caught up uh, but yeah so I to start off I think this is packaged really well so that's a good sign you know it seems pretty professional in how it's packaged and full disclosure uh, when I bought this not that, obviously I'm not famous on YouTube at all, but I didn't want to muddy the water. So I didn't mention anything um, before the item was shipped in terms of me uh, making a video about this or anything like that because I don't want the seller you know, to think that they could use this as a promo to highlight what they do. So just putting that out there. It came in a Christmas light box underneath the wrapping. So that's fun. How festive. And we're just going to get into this here. And I, so I'm going to start pulling items out just one at a time without looking at what it is. And we'll just kind of take it from there. This is my first mystery box opening. So I'm, this is new territory for me. First thing that I pulled out is this Darkness Ablaze. And it looks like there's a Sword and Shield... Yeah, it's a Sword and Shield and a Darkness Ablaze plus a bonus... Oh, oh, that's just the Sword and Shield behind it. So anyway, so there's a double booster pack. So that's nice. I'll take that right out the gate. That's pretty cool. And then... Oh, okay. So we've got a bundle of boosters here. And already I see some that I would be interested in. So we got Primal Clash, that's very cool. Crimson Invasion, that's pretty cool. 
a regular sword and shield, a regular sun and moon, and burning shadows. Those are actually pretty solid packs. And that might be a good sign because that was five bundled together. So this, we may have gotten lucky and this may have the PSA graded card. Oh, uh, what's this? Trading card rules? That's super random. Um, a Guardian Rising in, um, in like an actual hangar, so that's cool. Oh, okay, no, more booster packs. These are really, really well packaged. Like, I feel like everything in this is like really safe. So, Unified Minds, Vivid Voltage, Sun and Moon Base, and another Burning Shadows. Golly, there is some really stellar stuff in here. This is a lot of fun. Okay, and then, oh, nice. Actually, <laughs> I actually don't have any of the Champion's Path uh, card back, so I'm actually happy to get those. And then, oh yeah, there's still stuff in here. Golly. Uh, looks like a pack of energy cards, probably from the same Champion's Path thing as that last thing. Some coins. Actually, there's a few coins in here. Let's take a look. Nice. Yeah, there's a few different coins. Look at the Pikachu coin. Score! I have the other two already, but that is a nice Pikachu coin. Very shiny, and I did not have that yet. And there is one other thing stuffed way up in here. Ah! This is like the bonus cards. Okay, so let's go... Let's start opening stuff. I'm going to save the bonus thing for last, because I think the bonus thing is obviously a lot of fun. So we've got a Caterpie Reverse Hollow and a Starmie Reverse Hollow. And what is the... Hold on, let me get my phone. I'm pretty sure I know what symbol that is, but I want to make sure. Yes, that is from X and Y Evolutions. So that's cool. Some Evolutions cards. Those are always fun to get. And then on this one... Oh, we put little pull tabs. That's going to be it. Um, a whooper? And I have no idea. There's a whooper and a Mew. So the Mew is obviously a, a promo card. I think these are wizards. This one's a wizard, isn't it? That is. This is a wizard card. I don't know what... F oh. Duh, there's a symbol right there. Maybe it's not wizard, wizard, but hold on. Wizard, wizard? What is even... Um, this is wizard. That is a Neo Discovery card. I mean, it's just a common, but that's still super cool to get something vintage. And then obviously this is a vintage promo and it's a Mew. So that's a pretty good score in my opinion. And then we have another promo card. This one's an X and Y promo of a Trevenant. And then on the other side, a Slowbro EX, which I actually already have that card. I got that, I don't remember, I got that from something super random. I honestly can't even remember what it was. And then let's see what's in this. This is super random. I guess this is his custom booster that he was making reference of. Jellos. Okay, so that, I mean, in some people's opinions would be vintage because that is a from the Platinum Rising Rivals. So yeah, in, in some people's opinion, that is a vintage card. And a Treco, and that's obviously one of the new um, McDonald's cards. That's fun. Live part, that's from... Champions, Helios, that is from Rebel Clash. So some of these are newer. Starvia, that is from Darkness Rising. Uh, that is a Sun and Moon card for the Zubat. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. We'll get into that in a second. This Corpish. Okay, so the Corpus is from the X and Y uh, Primal 
And then behind that is a normal card. This is from Vivid Voltage. But this is a Japanese card. You can tell that by the back of it. And it is a Voltorb. And that is a Gym Trainer. I'm pretty sure this is from either the Gym Heroes or the Gym Challenge. Like, it's one of the Gym ones, I I'm like pretty sure, but I am not super up on my Japanese cards, so I would have to look that up to be sure. But that, that was a lot of fun. That was a really good custom pack. So I'm going to put this seller's information in my description. I can already tell you that now because I feel like I got my money's worth on this. So did I even say how much I paid for this? I don't think I did. I paid... Uh, technically the listing is $111 and then I, and then like maybe 15 bucks for shipping or something like that. So I don't feel like it's too bad. I'm going to, okay, so there's one X and Y. So I'm going to start with that before I get into the larger pile of sun and moon. You guys are going to get a lot of varied promo cards today. It's going to be all over the place. All right. Mr. Mime. Mark Cargo. Rhyhorn. I'm really looking forward to looking up or opening up so many different packs because you get a lot of unique stuff. Okay. Wish Cash. That was it for the X and Y. <laughs> X and Y done. Onward to a bunch of Sun and Moon stuff. Starting with, I have two Burning Shadow packs. Burning Shadows is fun. That's a set that I'm already working on. God, it's going to take forever for me to organize all these cards. There's so many different ones that it's going to be crazy for me to go through and add it to my collection. I'm going to utilize all of my binders <laughs> for this one. Lana for the reverse and a dark cry for my rare. Okay. Oh, Charmeleon. Nice. Bouflant. Pikachu, nice. These are good pulls for like the commons, you know. Charmander, look at that. Tormenting Spray for the reverse. And a Weevil. Okay, base set Sun and Moon now. Not, not one of the worst packs that you can pull. I definitely still have a fair amount of cards to find out of the base set for sun and moon i wasn't collecting i wasn't actively collecting pokemon cards when sun and moon was the current set well we got it our reverse is a rare so that's always good oh and then a tauros gx which i'm pretty yeah i definitely have that card i remember the art for it that is sick art though i think we can all admit that that is really really cool art I know that the Unified Minds is a crowd favorite. A lot of times, um, I didn't do it today because there's so much variety in today's thing because it was a mystery box. But normally in my videos, I do bonus codes for CG uh, for TCGO where I will have like random codes that I give you guys unrelated to what I'm pulling. And whenever I do Unified Minds, like people seem to enjoy that. So a little pup for my reverse, and then a lantern. So yeah, I, ha I haven't actually opened any Unified Mind packs myself. I have a ton of the um, codes for Unified Minds, but uh, of all the Sun and Moon, I think actually Unified Minds is the only one that I've never worked on any of the collection for. So every one of these cards should be new to me. Oof, look at that corner on that one. Thank goodness that's, well, hopefully that's not the rare. It could be something good. All right, so we got Fighting Energy, Ear Ringing Bell, Blaine's Quiz Show, Orangaroo, Lickitung, Purloin, 
Magma, Dynamo, Cosmog, a Lorantis for my reverse. Oh, and a Mawile GX Full Art. Wow. There you go. And that is a little bit off in the centering, but otherwise, a pretty nice card. Unified Minds, not disappointing. First opening, and we got a full art. Uh, Crimson Invasion is next. Energy, Psychic Memory, Starvia. Oh, something was behind that Starvia. There was a pill of swine hiding behind it. They were like best friends clinging together. Execute. My reverse is a Null and a Star Raptor. Okay, last Sun and Moon pack. This is the one that's in the cardboard. Guardians Rising. I definitely... It's not like a ton of cards that are... What the heck this pack is? Give me trouble. There's not a ton of sought-after cards in Guardian Rising, I don't feel like, anymore anyway. Um, but I, I personally have some chase cards. Hey, Fairy Energy. How we miss you. See if we get a little bit more luck out of this. Bell Sprout. Slowpoke is the reverse. And an Oracorio. So no. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright. That was. That was pretty good though for Sun and Moon. So now we're on to Sword and Shield. And we're gonna start with a vivid voltage. One of my favorite sets from Sword and Shield. And I'm still chasing the Chunkachu and a couple others. Leaf Energy, Tang, Giraffig, Alistair, Shuppet, Fur Seed, Joltik, Sandile. Dot. A Moo Moo Cheese Reverse. I don't have that reverse yet. And a like a Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock? Lycan Rock? Lick in my rocks. Okay, we'll do a Sword and Shield base. I'm actually really happy to have this because I've really been struggling lately to find Sword and Shield base packs. I know they're older now. Now that there's so many of the other Sword and Shield packs out. But um, Sword and Shield Base is actually one of my... It might actually be the most uh, underrepresented of all of my Sword and Shield sets. So I've been looking for some base cards, and I just haven't been able to find them. Reverse Pikachu and Whimsicott. Whimsicott. Okay, and we got this thing. So we'll dig into this. Do the Sword and Shield base first, since I just did a Sword and Shield base. We'll keep those together. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. Fire. Pokemon Lady seeking Hitmachan. And Sini. Shobby. Mr. Shobbles. Flipbug, Baltoy, Wooloo, Glossifer for my reverse, and a Drapion. So nothing too crazy for base Sword and Shield. I'm going to need Darkness Ablaze to save the day here for Sword and Shield. We didn't get anything crazy on any of the Sword and Shield pools. There she blows. Right. Metal. Psyonic. Rose. Simapore, my least favorite card out of this set. <laughs> Gallet. Phoebus. Proloin. Hippie hippity hoo. 
Centret, a Simistir is my reverse, and a Slowbro V. All right, it did save the day. I don't have this Slowbro yet, so there you go. Slowbro V saves the day. All right. Not, not too bad overall, and we have this very interesting bonus. Let's see what, I have no idea what to expect out of this at all. I can't even really tell by holding it what's in there, but it was completely separate from the mystery box, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. You know, the way that the listing was, it, it was pretty specific that the mystery box was the mystery box and that, that was that. Whoa. Okay. So we've got a Weedle, Reverse Weedle Evolutions card. And then we have a uh, Pupitar Reverse from uh, Darkness Ablaze. So that's interesting. Another Evolution card is always fun. And then randomly a Shining Fates pack. So this is it. This is... This is our last thing from the... So obviously we, you know, it's already established. We didn't get one of the nicer, air quotes, nicer ones that comes with a PSA card. Which would have been nice because like I said, I haven't submitted anything for a PSA yet and I wouldn't mind getting one. But um, if 6 out of 24 of his boxes are the ones that come with a PSA card... Um, that's pretty good. Those are pretty good odds, you know? So, anyway. Always down for some Shining Fates. Probably my favorite Sword and Shield. There's just so many potential pulls. The pull rates are pretty good. Not on this one, though. Kufant Reverse and Boss's Orders. Womp, womp, womp. But you know what? We got a lot of really cool stuff out of that. I mean, there's a good pile of stuff next to me over here. Um, and besides, I mean, obviously the people that pack this stuff can't help the actual pulls that you get. Um, and we got some nice pulls, but the packs themselves, the packs that were being put in there were great. It was a good variety. I like that it wasn't too much of anything. We didn't have more than two of any boosters. Uh, so that's cool that it was that varied and the individual cards that they put in were pretty cool including like actually some wizard cards and not just black star promo cards because you know if you're going to get a wizard card the black star promos were super available um and yes the other wizard cards were mostly commons but like the the mew like that's fun that's a fan favorite and the japanese card which i'm not even 100 percent sure what set that's from because i don't know enough about japanese cards but because uh, I don't personally collect Japanese cards, but it's just, it's fun. It's fun to have in the set, so I will take it. So yeah, a lot of uh, miscellaneous stuff today uh, from the mystery pack. So like I said, I'll put the seller's information in there because I would say that this is a trusted seller, I think. Not counting the taxes and stuff because that's, you know, if I round up for shipping, let's say that the entire box costs like a buck twenty, a buck twenty-five, like... I feel like I got my money's worth on that. There's definitely a lot of fun stuff in there. And um, it's a little bit of a gamble like any mystery box. But the the chance to get the PSA card, I feel like makes the pack that or the box that much more worth it. So, yeah. Good mystery box. That was a lot of fun. Uh, comment below and let me know if you'd like to see me do more mystery boxes in the future. Rather than the more structured videos where I just have like a set thing where it's like i'm gonna open all of these such and such um because even i don't know what's gonna happen until i start recording so uh let me know if you want to see more of that kind of stuff because that was i thought it was a lot of fun i'd like to know if you enjoyed it as well if you're new to the channel do me a favor subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when my new stuff is dropping i, I try to keep up my schedules as best as i can and post every monday wednesday and friday at 1 p.m pacific time can't always, but I, I, I'm 95% there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks everybody for coming out. I appreciate the view and support as always, and I will see you in the next one.